my name is Mark Perry. I'm a fluid power specialist. I am going. I am now the first vice president, which means I'm on the escalator to go to president next year. So that's who I am. Okay. <laughs> I've been in uh, fluid power specifically for 26 years, but generally my whole working life. It's hard for industries to take kids that have a very good mechanical engineering degree, bring them into the plant or the, the opportunity, and have no fluid power exposure or experience. And we're trying to, through the key schools, say, this is vital. We're going to help you build a curriculum. Uh, my name is Matt Lawrence. I'm a professor here at Alfred State College. And I'm the professor for the class. It's called Fluid Power Systems Design. The students come in not knowing much about fluid power. Some of them have never used hydraulics or pneumatics before at all. And uh, when they're done, they're, they're prepared to sit for the exam and pass the, the exam. The fluid power certification is defensible. The, the, every uh, three years, our, our certification programs and testings are completely gone through and um, recertified, if you will, to make sure that they are defensible, that the practices we, we teach and talk and, and test to are real and, uh, and as I say, defensible. So it's, it's not just a okay, I'm certified to sell XYZ gearbox type of thing. This, you understand the, the engineering principles and applications of fluid power. When they get that five-year certification, they can use that certification to differentiate themselves from other graduates in similar programs. Hello, my name is Samuel Mansfield. I'm currently a junior here at Alfred State College in the field of electromechanical engineering technology. And I am one of the students here that are just currently taking the fluid power exam. What we're doing to prepare for the exam is basically we're studying the manual they gave us for the Fluid Power Society. Basically shows you everything you need to know. Uh, we're doing practice tests. We're working on the trainer in the laboratory. And uh, the trainer gives us, you know, hands-on experience with fluid power. We're currently dealing mostly with cylinders and with motors as our two main sources. Basically through the use of many different uh, valves that we've been studying in class along with different types of pumps, uh, we've been able to figure out the designs of circuits, forces being applied, rates that things would be extended, things that would be very helpful in any of the applications such as um, one of your tractors that you use, most of the buckets and everything is run through hydraulic systems. I've learned all about several different hydraulic circuits. We've um, plumbed them up in lab and we really have a uh, working knowledge of fluid power. And uh, I feel after I take the certification that I'll be well prepared to go into the workforce and utilize my skills. I have actually got a job lined up. I'm going to be working in um, the oil and gas industry and I know hydraulics are used a lot in that so I'm, it'll come in handy and then um, in the future if I ever want to get a job also working in, with hydraulics that would be very beneficial. It's, it's not going away, it's here to stay and it's actually becoming more and more uh, involved in everything from artificial limb uh, replacement uh, to the space program to the ag to mining you name it it's it's never going to go away it's it's just it's fascinating there's just so much opportunity and people are being told you know industry in america is dead we have the greatest opportunity going right now because there's just these new horizons i do believe in this certification and think that it's something that'll help these students not just find a job but um but excel in their positions and um become a real valuable asset to their companies.